Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ravenfield. Today, we return, and as we return, we are playing on, well, a little bit of a toy soldiery type of map. That's right, someone out there in the Ravenfield map creating community made a freaking toy soldiers map, and oh my god, this is amazing, and it's actually kind of funny because it reminds me a little bit of Home Wars, which we've been playing a little bit. No! Get out of here! This is my... Uh, living room? What kind of room is this? There's a TV. Yeah, this is my living room. I'm taking it for myself, but I hope you guys are having nothing but the most fantastic day in the world. Today, I'm happy to be checking this map out. If this goes a little bit shorter than expected, though, I'll definitely toss in a second map because I just spent- Oh, I was trying to get some better cover. I spent all morning pretty much just trying to get some, uh, some cool maps. I was trying to find them on, uh, the- Whatchamacall, um, there's actually a website too, I'll go ahead and link that if I remember in the comment section down below. There's a website that has all the custom maps and even instructions on how to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and link you guys to that, it's a lot easier than going to the Discord where you have to look through all the different, uh, all the different pinned messages, maybe everyone doesn't have Discord, that type of stuff, but this map so far is looking freaking epic. I'm gonna fall back though, still look at the- we're toy soldiers! <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. You guys can even see some of the stupid spike toys acting like tank traps. Ooh, map maker, if you're watching this, if you got these things down, oh no, don't get up, don't get up, kind sir. If you got these things down, kind of as tank traps or tank spikes, you should totally have some tanks on this map because I don't think I'm seeing any yet. It's also kind of a murder. I think I kind of did a little something a little bit unfair by grabbing that before the reds did. I think the reds are quote-unquote supposed to grab that but if we head on back we can explore the map for a little bit here I wish there could be like some sort of epic battle or showdown happening here because you guys can see the insane amount of sandbags freaking all of this uh all these like planks to walk up on tables and stuff a bunch of our men just standing back you have stuff like this where you can just kind of cheekily shoot it through that little gap right there that's perfect oh my god <laughs> Dude, this map, I, you find the most amazing stuff when you look, but I hope you guys are having nothing but the most fantastic day in the world. Like I said, today's game plan, I'd like to see how far we can get pushing our enemy back. After that, though, we will switch sides. I'm thinking we'll maybe go back to being under the Red Army. We'll be, we'll be those dirty commies. We'll be, oh, friendly fire. Well, why'd you, damn it, Jim. Why'd you have to step in front of my bullets? It's like the last thing you should be doing. Speaking of last things we should be doing, I feel like a lot of our troops, I only did 80 troops for this one total. I feel like a lot of them are just, ow, ow, that hurt. A lot of them are just chilling over that way in like that giant room that I was just in. And ah, speaking of a lot, a lot, oh Jesus. A lot of people are respawning. Oh my God, stop it. Dude, the reds, they're, oh my God. They're about to retake that, aren't they? Dude, I think they are. They're pushing up way more. Oh my God. This could be an epic battle. If the Reds are actually putting up a fight right now, ooh, mama. I think 80 bots was the perfect amount. Look at this all-out warfare between the toy soldiers. I love this, but if we're talking toy soldiers, I need some toy tanks in here. How about that? So the fact that we've lost this could prove put pretty out. Ow, that hurt my face. Pretty detrimental, because that means they, ooh. There's even a little sandbox out there. That's kind of cool. This could prove detrimental, because they might make some sort of a powerful push through the spike traps and also through that room. So what I'm gonna try to do here, if I can get there alive, throw down the medical supplies! There we go, give me those band-aids. I need the band-aids. Oh, all right, see you later, dude. Okay, we gotta hop on these. We gotta try and, uh, we gotta try and suppress the tank traps. We cannot let the enemy through! I think we're doing a pretty good job of suppressing them so far. I'm not seeing too many. We'll also switch weapons next time we die. I think my comrade to the left has fallen. Alright, we did a good job suppressing that side. We're making a hell of a push over here. You can see the men trying to go through. We are victorious. I will keep playing a little bit though. This has to be a convincing victory. I don't want the Reds to come back or nothing. See, you know what makes me sad? That the dev, I remember back in, uh, I think it was the pre-Steam version of the game, when you could actually adjust the amount you wanted to win by. Those were the best days, because sometimes 200 points is not enough. Although it's usually pretty convincing. I don't know, man. It's just not enough. But Toy Soldiers, I don't know what it is. I just love anything that has to do with this type of stuff. When I saw this map, I kind of, the freaking 10 year old inside of me squealed a little bit. Because, not even 10 year old, dude, I was like, by the time I was playing with Toy Soldiers, I was a 7 year old, probably. Because <laughs> Toy Soldiers, I don't know what it is, they're just, 
ah, it just brings back the nostalgia, brings back the child. And I want to ask you guys, you know, is this, did you guys ever play with toy soldiers as a kid? You guys ever reenact any epic battles? For me, it was either toy soldiers or Legos. And my Legos were treated like toy soldiers. All right, there were some epic battles going on. I love that stuff so much. And I don't know, playing this game, it doesn't hit the Lego vibe as much. Lego vibe as much. There's different games for that, though. Hopefully coming on the channel soon. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But is that, is that man? What is you doing, baby? Oh, I got to reload. No, I don't. I'm out of ammo. Uh, can I snipe him? Well, this is going to be a long shot. I don't know how this is going to go. Come on. Oh, we got a hit. Oh, we're getting hits. Oh, ho, ho. I got like three hit markers. I'm happy with that. I need some ammunition. The only ammunition I know of. Oh my God. These reds are making a hell of a push through here. The, ah, I wish I could stop them. Wait, do we have a granata? No, I have this though. Unfortunately, there's a roof on this building, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Hey, I think they they they, they went. So that's kind of a start. All right, I'm gonna jump. Send them. Woo! Okay. Oh my God! Did you see that poor blue over there that died? Because of my shenanigans. Wait, don't I have an ammo? Yeah, I shouldn't be complaining about no ammo. I always forget that I usually have that in my loadout. I should equip some grenades or something though. I'd be down with that. So now that the Reds have actually captured this point. I'm surprised, honestly, that they were able to retake it. Usually, if you're able to take something early, I, I'd say it goes over pretty well and another team's not able to take it. But I think we just picked a perfect amount of bots for this, that it's just going super well. So I'm more than happy with what's going on. Thank you for the medical supplies, my dear sir. I will use them greatly. All right, I will band-aid the bullets that the enemy puts into me, and then I will uh, remove the bullets and put them through the enemy. And steal their band-aids so they can't fix their bullets. So, haha! -ha! I'm ready to bamboozle the Reds. And it looks like we're still having a pretty convincing lead here. We'll go for a little bit longer. Try to... I think that's what I'm going to try to do from now on. Whenever we play this, I want to hold that 200-point lead that makes us quote-unquote win. I want to hold that for a little bit. I also want to switch up guns, though. We haven't used the AK too much. And let's go back to that thing a little bit. And I think we need some granatas. We haven't used enough of those lately. I don't want to unequip the Hydra just because then I have to find it again, I think. And as you guys may or may not know, I am a lazy boy. So, frag out! Frag out! Oh, this is going to get a ton of boop, hit markers. Hello! Hello! All right, yeah. They're feeling the effects of that. Time to bring out the AK and be the insurgents that we were born to be. Comrade, we got AK Kalashnikov 47 straight off of boat. Comrade from Russia sent. Very good quality. All right, if seven days to die, quality more than 500 probably. Very good AK-47. Very good parts. Reliable weapon. Does not break. Easy as think. Funnily enough, we are fighting Reds, which are communists. So, uh, we have undercover communists behind communist lines helping us. Ah! Jesus. That's like a double concussion grenade. But we have a good comrade behind enemy lines. He does things like send weapons that will help us with the shoot bullets. Yes, very good. This is FPS Russia with... Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just going off on my bad accent tangent. That flowed surprisingly well, by the way. Unlike my accent. I don't know. People have told me my uh, Eastern European slash Russian accent ain't too bad. I don't know about that, though. I mean, I am Polish. So it kind of makes sense because I know how to speak Polish. Jak się masz? Dobrze, dobrze, fajnie. Przyszego najlepszego na zdrowia, kurwa, all the important stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I'm a certified dingus. Ow, 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 ow. Comrades, why must you shoot with bullets? What is this? Why do you shoot me? <laughs> oh, communists have betrayed. They are no longer comrade. They are enemy of the blue state. I have seen the light of color of blue. Color red, not so much. I'm sorry my comrades must put up with this. <laughs> okay. Well, time to butcher the comrades, unfortunately. They're not they're not real comrades. Alright. Well that's enough of a battle at here. I think the lead's been pretty convincing. Why don't we quit to the menu and try to take things uh, with the reds? All right, looks like we're back. We have a nice little overview of the backyard here. We're going to go back with the AK. We're probably going to be respawning here. Maybe what I'll start doing is even like uh, drastically. Oh, dude, this is awesome. A giant sand dune in the sandbox. Please tell me there's a full dude. Oh, I wish we could have like a battle out here. You sir, I thought, is this man going to try to hit some freaking wall bangs? What is you doing? What is you doing? Yeah, these defenses out here, though, are set up awesome. 
I wish the blues could push through. Honestly, what I might end up doing, I think maybe for our next battle, I might heavily shift it into the blues favor. Although right now, okay, well, we're taking this, so that's good news. Hopefully, my abilities will be able to stop the blues from whatever push they're gonna try to make. Da, 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 da. The AK-47 should do a pretty job at that. It's perfect at spray and pray down long hallways full of blue heads. That is the exact situation we're in, so things are looking good. Oh no, the blues are taking it. How the hell are the blues taking it without my help? Reds! Ayurame! Now! Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, no. Oh, well, of course I shoot the one guy who's a friendly. That doesn't even surprise me. All right, well, it looks like the reds are slowly starting to push through. Some of them are staying behind. I don't know why. I really wish there would be some vehicles on this map, like a tank to drive through. Even, like, making it so a tank can't fit into this area, but a tank driving through these, like, little spikes or whatever these little toys are. I don't know. That seems like it'd be really awesome to me. That man better not get on the turret. I am not going to deal with that. All right, man, move, move, move. Hug the wall, hug the wall. We gotta go, we gotta go. We're doing a home invasion here, all right? The toy soldiers from the neighbor. He sent us on a spec ops mission. We gotta do what we can. For me, that means fragging out! Fragging out! Send the frags! Oh, we got the hit markers. We're helping out the boys in red. All right, comrades, we've rejoined red color. It is best color of the true comrade the communist. It is what we must do. We do it uh, okay, I guess. Don't know. Uh, my name, oh, ah! Uh, filthy capitalist pig, what do you do? Go so close to me, you do not deserve- Ow. Well, he shot me, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, we were able to retake this living room though, so hopefully we can make a little bit of a push here. And if not, I just want to make sure that we can uh, defeat our enemies and actually come out with a win. If we can end up 2-0 and on both sides, that shows that we are amazing. Oh my god! Those concussion grenades, man. There is no stopping them. Jesus! This, this dude's like kicking. Oh my god. My face was in his crotch. I don't like that. No. No, get your crotch. What even happened? Why? <laughs> I was not able to stand for like a solid 30 seconds. That was absolute shenanigans, honestly. Okay, we gotta try and make some big moves. Maybe a different gun? Maybe a shots gun? I think a shotgun might be pretty awesome in this type of scenario. This is as close quarters as it gets. We're, cl we're toy soldiers inside of a house. If this isn't close quarters, I don't think anything's gonna be close quarters. So let's go. Ah, shotgun rain, shotgun rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Shotgun rain. A bullet's going through the blues brains. Shotgun rain. Taking cover behind sandbags, cause I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, I hate dying. It's so, so overrated. Everyone's like, oh, you know, it's not that bad. Nah, nah, screw dying. I'm not about that. Oh, this could be the push. Sending out the frags. Come on. Come on. We almost had it until the filthy blues decided to like, I don't even know what they decided to do. Shotgun rain. Oh, you squirming? No, not for long. We got to kill the survivors. Oh God, too many survivors. Come on, men. We got to push. See, I wish I could like tell some of these people. I wish I could be the commander of my team. I wish that was a thing in Ravenfield where you could tell people where to go. Cause I feel like right now, you know, they're, they're pretty dumb. These guys, listen, I'm try, I try to be a positive person here, but we're talking about lines of code and not people. So I'm just going to say right now, these lines of code, AKA people suck. <laughs> not in a mean way where it's like, oh no, the game's awful. But I'm saying like, they're not good enough for the tactics I want to employ. All right. If I want to cook pancakes for breakfast, do you think these guys are going to be able to help me? No, they do not have the tactical masterminds, but dude, we're making a hell of a push here. Oh, ho, ho, this might be good. That might be their last bastion. If we could push through here, it's gonna be hard. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Yeah, so there's gonna be 40 people split up between these two rooms we're trying to push. And a lot of people for us are going to be scattered about throughout the map. So we need to really make a uh, concentrated effort on one of these rooms if we want a chance. Because right now it's not looking good. These rooms are not gonna be as close quarters. I think we gotta switch. Let's go to the Recon LRR. I think that might be a little bit better for the current situation. Hello. Oh, dude, all those guys on the ridge are just, or the table. They are raining down hell on us, honestly. What is they doing? I don't even know, but I know what I'm doing. And that's murdering me some blues. My favorite pastime. All right, ow, ow, no, 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 my head's showing. They're gonna shoot me. I hate concussion grenades with a passion. They're goofy, they can be funny, but they also make me not a happy camper. <laughs> Was that blue that just ran in front of me? 
Oh, you're going down execution style. Yeah, see you later, filthy blue peasant. We're- oh god. Way We got the victory! Woo! I mean, I'm pretty dead. But- well, actually, no. I didn't even take any damage yet. Haha! -ha! Death to the blues. I at least do want to see how far of a push we can get going. And if not, I think we might do this map one more time. I might try doing, completely honest, I kind of want to see what night mode's on. Or what night boat night- that English is hard. What night mode's like. I feel like it might be pretty cool, because for some maps, Night mode doesn't actually literally mean it's gonna be nighttime, but it just means it's like a different setting. So I know for some maps, I think the trenches map actually we played before. I think what that map had was uh, winter. It literally became winter for night mode. I don't know if it became nighttime, but I know it became winter, which I don't know, seemed pretty cool to me. And I'd love to see if maybe there's like, I, I don't know what this could really become. Maybe like it's dark outside, but the lights are on inside. That's the only type of like night mode I can think of. Worst case though, we'll check it out, see what it's like. Oh, the blues made a push on us. Uh-uh, I do not like that blues. Oh no, oh god. If they got the heavy machine gun on that corridor. Like, we got a couple men who's managed to sneak by, but... I think our advance is definitely... ...been put a stop to. Cause right there, that table is full of enemy marksmen raining down lead rain. Lead hail, actually, cause it hurts a lot more than rain. Raining down lead hail on us. And over here, they got that HMG, heavy machine gun or light machine gun, the mounted one that just mows down anyone who tries to go through that corridor. I think we are at an impasse, but we have most of the house under our control, and I think it might be time to signal in for reinforcements. So uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can call in some reinforcements here in the sandbox, and we'll see how, uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, men, we got reinforcements. It is the nighttime, however, we're coming back. They retook the house, but we retreated. We called in reinforcements, and I think that we are more than prepared for the type of push we're gonna need to try and take out the enemy this time. They may have repelled us out of the house, but we've come back in greater numbers, and I don't think the blues are ready for what awaits them. I, however, am ready for the fun that awaits the rats, and oh, there's gonna be a lot of that. Right now, I gotta try and defend this corridor, though, because I know that the blues last time were able to get a pretty solid, fragging out, pretty solid push all the way into here. I don't like that, fragging out. Oh my God, there's a lot of blues making this push. We cannot allow that. I hope, oh no, oh, oh, they're all going into this room. Luckily, all the reds look like they're finally coming through. The initial scouting party, I think they've perished, but, they were able to capture the point in time. Oh no, the blues capture the point too. Uh, well, I was gonna say ours capture the point for a little bit, but I think right now all these blues ought to die pretty easily. Damn it, stop with the concussion grenade. Okay, stop with grenades in general. Maybe I was not specific enough. Concussion grenades suck. Don't throw frag grenades at me either. Now, I don't know how this is going. Did I accidentally give the blues more people? If so, that would be very awkward but totally something that I would do. However, I don't know. I see a lot of reds at my back, so I'm actually like, who, I saw, I saw a red throw that grenade. I saw that thing about to blow up. Oh my God, they're all respawning. They're getting butchered and butchered, but oh yeah, no, look at that mob of reds. It's gonna be a little bit slow. I think it's about time we head on back. Let's try this Quicksilver. We don't usually use our uh, internally suppressed SMG. That's what it is, right? Looks pretty internal. It's pretty quiet. You can't even hear it above all these other bullets. You can't hear it. This is amazing. We'll be able to use the cover of our own bullets or of our teammates bullets to murder behind enemy lines if we can even get behind enemy lines. I hear it's pretty hard, pretty exclusive club to get there, but I believe in us. I also believe in frag grenades. Oh no. As soon as we can kind of establish our place a little bit higher up, hopefully the blues will stop pushing us. It's pretty annoying having to deal with these guys. Ow. How did I even get shot that time? Oh my God, this is a war zone. One problem with more people, there are too many grenades. <laughs> Seriously, that is the one problem that always arises and it sucks. Because grenades are the devil. Oh, did I just headshot that dude? Hell yeah, hell no! Turn the corner and you got a face full of bullet. You do not want a face full of bullet, all right? Bullets are not part of your natural diet, okay? They do not have any essential vitamins. They do have some uh, lead in there. I don't think you need lead to survive. How am I dying? I literally got shot on the couch. I'm out here trying to watch my real housewives of the uh, uh, housewives. And next thing you know, 
There's blood on here. Or paint. Maybe I got shot with a paintball. I don't know. Alright, this is the push we were talking about. This is a push for the ages. Oh no. Oh, gotta go to the revolver. Oh, revolver time! Oh, let me live. Reds! Make the push. Come on, men. Look at all those. There's more than we've ever had before. If we're gonna be able to push deep into this house and take it for ourselves, now's gonna be the time. I wanna give another victory speech. I don't know why I said victory in the weirdest way I've ever heard. I need another victory speech. <laughs> don't you guys remember last time? I think it was on one of the OG maps, the island, when we totally obliterated and wiped out the enemy, captured every one of their points, and they couldn't even respawn. That's when I gave my victory speech, and that was the most victorious we've ever been in this game, I think. However, it's been a long time since that, and I want this house. It'll be a great strategic point in the coming Toy Soldier War. Uh, but yeah, dude, I'm loving this map so far. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below, along with any other map suggestions that you guys might know about, especially if I have the website to the game. You guys can go to that website, or to the, uh, the website full of the maps for the game, custom maps. You guys can scroll through, see if there's any maps that look cool to you guys. Maybe play some maps, let me know some cool ones you've played. Any of that stuff, I'm always open and willing to take some suggestions to make the videos as awesome as possible for you guys. But also let me know what you think of this map. You know, your thoughts on it, if you might go download it yourself, because I just love the whole, whole, like, toy soldier. I'm definitely getting hit in the nostalgia. It's not, I mean, it, it would be even better if they were, like, custom skins, and we literally looked like toy soldiers. Or we could at least make the blues green, because then it could be green versus red, kind of like how toy soldiers should be. And I don't know. Holy hell! That man almost got up on the couch! Also, how am I getting hurt from here? Makes no sense to me. Although... Does anything ever make sense? I don't know. Our reds are really pushing up. Dude, we're not even able to get as far as we did last time. The blues are winning even more. I feel like the extra troops aren't even helping us. They're just being meat for the blue meat grinder. Because they're getting way more points than we were. And they're able to hold off pretty well. I should maybe equip a real gun. Yeah, I don't think the silenced SMG is going to do the trick. Okay, let's go with the AK-40 or the RK-44. No, it's not a 47. No Kalashnikov here, comrade. Only, uh, only, uh, red Kalashnikov. Not, uh, the a, a Kalashnikov. It's our Kalashnikov. Uh, from year 44, not comrade year 47. Yes. <laughs> Damn it! I cannot survive. Although, I think they are going to somehow manage to repel our reinforcements. Also, it's not even that much darker inside, so that's kind of good. It does look a little bit darker. It'd be cool if there were, like, lights on. That'd be a pretty cool thing to do for night mode. Just have, like, lights on throughout the map. Have them on in the daylight version, too. Oh! We got the bedroom hallway! We've captured it! Woo! Hype, hype, hype. But before I totally lose that train of thought, like, you could just have lights on, or you could have lights on both versions of the map, but they're only on. Maybe, like, some lamps throughout the map, too, but they're only on when it's, um... Whatchamacall? They're only on when it's night mode. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool, but I'm not a map maker, so I don't even know how impossible that would be. Ow, my face hurts. What the hell? Uh, as long as we can hold this, this might be our best bet. But what we need is for the people chilling in this room, you guys. Unfortunately, I don't think the Reds want to fight any further than here. I don't know what it is, but a lot of them are more than happy just sitting back. So I don't think we're going to be able to make any substantial progress anywhere else besides getting sniped in the goddamn face that's all there's always gonna be progress being made on that but it just doesn't look like our reds are interested in pushing up the map which sucks because i don't we can't battle it out on those other two rooms which honestly look really freaking epic so sucks but what can you do unfortunately nothing that's what i wish i wish some of these guys i'm gonna try to go on the map and show you what i mean but i wish some of these guys you guys see the people by the sandbox they should know there's no risk of like the blues doing some spec op stuff going through the vents and just showing up behind enemy lines i feel like you know they should at least be moving up to this position because if the blues want to get to any position after or before this one they have to get through this one in the first place so i feel like if the troop ai could be better like that that would make this amazing is that easy to do i don't know i've never made ai before i don't maybe it's insanely hard it probably is insanely hard i'm not saying the ai now is like super crappy it's solid but imagine how insane it would be 
if the troops actually moved up and you'd have these massive confrontations constantly happening. Is that a concussion grenade? Yes. Yes, it is. But other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode. Thank you guys for joining me in a trip down Nostalgia Lane and being a toy soldier, joining in my perspective and having some fun. I appreciate it an absolute ton. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Let me know what you thought of the map. Let me know any map suggestions, any of that jazz. Always happy to hear it. But other than that, this is going to wrap up for me. I'm seriously going to be wishing all of you guys nothing but the most fan-fantastic day in the world. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.